how many programs can boast about a 90% success rate? But that's exactly what the Sacramento County Office of Education's adult reentry program is doing, putting parolees and probationers back into society, back with their families, and back to work. Working with the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, the program has assisted nearly 4,000 people. Common Grounds Mike Carroll shows us how it works. Um, I'm in this class to get my life back together. Yeah, I finished high school and then I uh, kind of got in trouble. You know, I'm in drug court right now, so. Currently right now, I'm on house arrest. Tyler Lada and Justin Tankery are in a jobs training program. Uh, I plan to get hired by a union, hopefully through this. That's right. They're not training for any type of work. They're in training for good paying, long term union jobs. It'll give me, you know, stability and, uh, you know, with benefits and, and, you know, retirement and all that stuff. It gives the example of Argonne Gas. So Justin and Tyler and other men and women with similar stories are getting their lives back in order through the Sacramento County Office of Education's Adult Reentry Program and the NCCT, Northern California Construction Training, and in the process, reconstructing their lives. Well, what we're doing is taking people that need help getting it back into the workforce. They're possibly, you know, they have some legal issues or don't have, you know, their uh, high school education yet. Russ Deegan is a union welder, teaching what he knows to these students, training them to qualify to join his union. Let's train them and get them back into the workforce, and then maybe they'll stay out of trouble. This is no easy handout. Sacramento has a need for skilled construction workers. Well, you can't drive anywhere in Sacramento and not see highway construction. Downtown Sacramento is thriving. We have a new hospital. We have a new arena. They're talking parking structures. They're talking high-rise hotels. It's one thing to get the training to do a job, but how many people who go through these courses actually get work? This past June, June 6th, we graduated 212 people. 192 of them were working that day. Since then, all but one have gone to work. We've seen people placed in very good employment. Um, making very good wage, becoming taxpayers. In addition to Sacramento, the County Office of Education has partnered with Roseville, West Sacramento, Woodland and Auburn to bring education and job training to those communities as well. This building was designed specifically for this programming. In Roseville, the need was great enough that this reentry center was constructed right next to the Criminal Justice Center. On one side is the probation department. Just across the hall, the people they're working with. How long have you been clean now? I've been clean for 37 days. And what's, how long over the span of your life on and off have you been? Uh, 10 years. A lot of these individuals have lost hope for themselves. And with this program, they're getting their confidence back. I have a knack for wood and I did constructions for like uh, nine years and I enjoyed it. Our success rate is extremely, extremely positive. Recidivism rates without programs like this usually hover around 70 to 80 percent. Our recidivism rates for people who are successful in our program are in the low teens. Free bus transport is even available to help clients get to and from class. We want our clients just to get to our facility and we're going to provide everything that they need. We just need them to come with a positive attitude and show up. This all got started with one class in Sacramento back in 2007. Before, everybody was coming out of state prison, and so therefore they were under the supervision of parole. Now, with the shift of realignment, people have been transferred to the county jails, and when they get released from county jail, they're under the supervision of probation. So probation departments have had to adjust. It should be emphasized that the people being helped here are not serious, violent offenders, but people who have made some poor choices in life and have now made the choice to change their lives. So the test starts here, you read this, and then here's the first question. And not everyone enrolled here has had run-ins with the law. Some people, from high school age to adults in their 30s, 40s, 50s, come here to get their high school general equivalency degrees so they can start getting ahead. If you get a job in the construction field here or a union job, you're going to make anywhere from $15 to $20 an hour starting. And within three to four years, they're making anywhere from $30 to $40 an hour with benefits, with a pension, with a retirement, all this wonderful stuff to provide for their family and make a better future for their kids. This six to eight month training program is open to anybody who wants to or needs to change their life and get back to work. Clients come here for a six to eight month pre-apprenticeship program and the good news right now with the economy going, clients are not staying that long into it because they're getting picked up by the unions and uh, getting employed. We get calls from the trades saying, you know, the baby boomers are all going to retire soon and there's going to be a 
they're going to run out of people. It really is a gateway to, you know, getting a normal life or being back on track in a normal life. I'm Mike Carroll for Common Ground. Since 2007, over 3,000 parolees and 750 probationers have been through the program. Stay with us. We'll introduce you to one man who was looking at doing prison time just last December. And today, he's working to rebuild Sacramento. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Common Ground. Partnering with the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, the Sacramento County Office of Education's Adult Reentry Program is giving parolees and probationers the support and training needed to find work and start a new life. Common Ground's Mike Carroll continues his report with a look at how it changed one man's life and put him in a place that's making history. James Perez is on the job. I just enjoy the welding and the precision and and um, it's like it's like an art. On one of the construction projects that are changing the face and the very identity of downtown Sacramento. That's what I want to do is be an eye worker. I'm a first apprentice and just getting started. But this was not how he'd always planned to be making a living. Probably when I turned 18, I started you know getting into the wrong crowd, and then um, then I went to prison when I was 22, and then I got out when I was 25. James is 33 now. He knew he needed to change his life. And I uh, went to probation department and I told him, hey, I said, I need help because what I'm doing, it's, I don't want to end up back in prison. That decision to turn his life around led James to the Sacramento County of Education's adult reentry program. Yeah, I started December 12th and then I went every day. And from there into the Northern California Construction Training Program to learn welding. Went to every program, did every assignment, everything they told me to do. The day after this story was filmed, James Perez was due back before the judge. You have court tomorrow. It was entirely possible that James Perez might not be coming back to work, but going to prison. Last time I went to court, the judge, was, he wanted to send me back for 16 months. But at that court appearance, James Perez had strong words of support from his defense attorney and from the prosecuting attorney and the judge ruled that James was a shining example of the best of what the reentry program was all about. You know, you never want to go back to that lifestyle because it's only going to get worse. James walked out of that courtroom and back to work. There's no good in it at all. You either go to prison, you either, you either end up dead, or you end up alone. In eight months of classes, James Perez turned his entire life around and is now working, rebuilding downtown Sacramento and himself. The sooner you change your life, the sooner you'll be able to enjoy your life. In Sacramento, I'm Mike Carroll for Common Ground. Perez says after completing the program, he missed his graduation ceremony because he was already on the job bringing home a paycheck. If you would like to learn more about the reentry program, you can visit the SCOE's website.